Are you willing to do justice? Do you abhor injustice? So are you willing to get all up in the face of injustice and do it with justice and, and, and get things done? Do it with justice in your heart, do it with justice in your actions, but do it. Get all up in the face of injustice. <laughs> But do you really believe it? Are you really willing to stand up to all the kinds of violence that your people face? And will you do it with non-violence? So let's talk for a minute about violence. The cool thing about being the last speaker tonight is you can do stuff like that. So seriously, let's talk about violence. This is a serious conversation. I'm, I am talking about the violence that's physical. You know, the, the young trans student who's beaten up and maybe killed because some misguided coward is scared that he's attracted to her. That kind of violence. The violence of a, of a young gay couple walking down the street and getting harassed or beat up. When you, when you see physical violence, will you stand in the way, non-violently, even at risk to your own body? Think about it. I'm talking about that kind of violence, but I'm also talking about the other kinds of violence. I'm talking about the violence of poverty. Older people, children, homeless people, people who want so much and they want it so hard, but they're locked out of an increasingly unequal economic system. I, I sometimes wonder, are they locked out or locked in? But I know that there's a lock, and I know we all have to do it. And what are you willing to do about it? When you see poverty, will you stand in a way by helping individuals and by fixing the system? Even if fixing the system isn't in your short-term economic interest, will you do it? And what about the violence of racism? Violence that, that erodes the heart and the life of people like any other kind of violence. Racism that makes all of us poorer. What are you willing to do about it? When you see racism, Will you stand in the way like the people in the 60s who were willing to cross the bridge um, with their brothers and sisters and feel a thud and the crack of police batons on their skulls? Were you, are you willing to do that for, to, to stop racism? But now, even in everyday life, what are you willing to do to end racism? If you're a person of color, I ask you, will you please continue to call out the racism while we all work together to fix the system? And if you're white, Will you also work to call out the racism while together we work to fix the system? Racism, 
that is silly and it is dangerous. Let's talk about racism. And I want to tell you a story about that right now. I saw one of the most amazing things that really hit home to me about white people and racism. And that was my um, former boyfriend, uh, President George W. Bush. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 